Brandon Brown. He is an associate for the W3 Group and delivers tangible and sustainable continuous improvement results as a Toyota Kata coach and lean instructor. I want to reach that target condition quickly. Okay, can I yep. run these obstacles in parallel, or do they have to be kind of step by step? Well, um, <clears throat> you focus on one obstacle at a time. It's kind of like the design of experiments uh, philosophy. You know, you don't. Uh, you don't want to change multiple variables at once because you won't uh, really understand which one is contributing the most to the improvement. Um, so we advise in this process to work on one obstacle at a time. We ask that maybe as you start to deploy this uh, throughout the organization uh, that you uh, uh, look at other process areas that are focused on the same challenge um, or set of challenges and their current condition, target condition may be different than process A. I've got another slide I could show you here, Joe, that would kind of explain that. As you were asking about uh, getting to the target condition quickly, we, we work on those one obstacle at a time until we're for sure we're over that. It's really related to this slide as far as how quickly an organization moves toward the challenge. Uh, and this slide explains how we have a process team A. They have their own target condition and successive target conditions that they're trying to reach. It's all guided by reaching this overall challenge for the organization. And that challenge then comes, again, out from the initial uh, challenge development process of value stream mapping and, and setting that for the organization. So all three process teams are working towards successive target conditions in one to two week uh, periods. So it's not like it's a company-wide obstacle. It's those obstacles are driven down from the challenge down to the process team, departments, team leaders, individuals. Is that true? Exactly. Those levels of the organization, uh, the target conditions uh, at one organization establish the challenge or the direction really for the next level down. So the organization might have strategic longer terms improvement kata and coaching kata is going on at a strategic level. There might be a three month to a six month type of type of a cycle for reaching that particular target condition. But what that or, at the organizational level, what's being worked on then cascades down to the value stream level, who has their own uh, current condition and that they're trying to strive to reach and their own future state or target condition they're trying to reach. Uh, maybe it's over the course of a particular month. And then that particular target condition from the value stream level translates down to the value str stream loop level, uh, which actually becomes the direction giver for the, the next level down. And then cascades to the, all the way down to the process level. So it's really uh, what's, what's key to sustainment and key to driving uh, how Kata is deployed goes back to establishing alignment uh, from the company's vision to a set of challenges, and then throughout the organization cascading uh, those down to set direction. So everybody's in alignment, focusing on challenges that, that uh, the organization is trying to achieve. This reminds me of a lot how someone would take Hoshin and play catch ball and go through the process. Is Am I reading it right? Is there a difference? Uh, it's very similar uh, to the Hoshin process and, and, and the connection between Hoshin and, and how we um, uh, deploy improvement kata is is very highly linked. Uh, our process at W3 is to uh, have that value stream mapping session and challenge development where we look at KPIs, we look at what's what the company's strategic objectives are, we look at the value stream map and where's the company wanting to go from a future state standpoint uh, with a smaller team as, uh, of, uh, as high in the organization as we can get by forming an advanced group, uh, a small group of four to six people uh, that are working on and, and responsible for the overall uh, challenges for the organization. And yes, the catch ball uh, analogy is, is very similar to that. If, if the value stream managers, the uh, supervisors, the process level, if they're not in agreement with those that are uh, up above them, uh, there needs to be communication. There needs to be uh, an understanding. Uh, but ultimately, the direction giver is focusing on we as an organization are trying to achieve these particular challenges. 
in the next year to two years out. What's the best way for someone to contact you and learn more about Toyota Kata? Where would you point them? I would point them, uh, they can email me directly at brandon.brown at the W3 group llc.com. They can go to our W3 website and meet all of our practitioners on there and, and uh, make contact. There's a lot of resources, a lot of presentations, a lot of information that they can self-educate themselves a little bit more, a little bit further about that. Uh, but they can feel free to email me. My cell phone is usually always on. It's 479-856-1919. So I'm willing to take a call and, and discuss opportunities and where companies feel that their, their pain might be where they might be able to improve. Heck, he even took my call, so. <laughs> which I thank you very much. This podcast is really available on the Business Sign on iTunes store and the Business Sign on uh, 901 website. So thanks, everyone, for listening. Thanks, Joe. <laughs>